Right guys, so welcome back to some more F1 2019 gameplay here today. And once again today, it is not career mode. It's something a little bit different and a bit of a mini-series I want to try on the channel. So pretty much from now until the end of the season, every race we can in real life, I will do a 100% race in cockpit view at the corresponding race. So we have Mexico, USA, Brazil and Abu Dhabi left over as the four remaining races this season. And I'm going to do a 100% race on each rule life weekend of those races and using more specifically cockpit view, which is quite requested on my videos, you know, and I don't really do many videos with it. And I thought it'd be a good chance to give back to some of those guys who want to watch it in a proper camera view if you like. So overall, we're going to jump into this first race here and it's going to be at the Mexican Grand Prix. So... I've had to think about it, and we are going to go for the clear and obvious. You can probably tell by the thumbnail and title of the video, but we are going to race as Mr. Sergio Perez in the racing point. This is home, his home race, and therefore it's only fitting that we race as him around that track. So, yeah, we're going to jump to things. It's going to be quite interesting. I've not used the racing point in this year's game yet, so it could be quite interesting. And uh, we're quite limited in terms of, you know, we're not going to be fighting for the race winner podium. So... Let's see how this race gets something. The target would be points, but yeah, we're going to start as Perez. We're going to select the Mexican Grand Prix, and also we're going to do a few settings. So we're going to do practice on a single session, just so I can get a bit of a feel for the racetrack. Qualify, we're going to do one shot, and we'll just retire from qualifying to start from the back. 100% race, 110% AI difficulty, and then in terms of gameplay settings, we've got flashback, so in case there's any like uh, screen freezes, you know, AI misbehavior, blue flag issues, that those kind of things that have to happen in the F1 game. Apart from Aon, simulation, uh, vehicle damage, safety car and BSC on, rules and flags on, and we've also got strict corner cutting, manual race starts, and surface and carcass tire temperature simulation. And in terms of assist, we've got everything off on Elite, and whatever time of day, we're going to have dynamic weather and official start time. So yeah, overall, those are all the settings. We're now going to move into the racing here, and the next thing you'll see on screen is going to be the start of the race. But in the meantime, I'm going to jump into practice and get used to the racing point. It's Sunday, and that means it's race day here at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. The cars are being prepared. Let's join them trackside for the start of the Mexican Grand Prix. At 2,285 metres above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, and Kevin Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and Stroll, Gasly, Kvyat, Antonio Giovinazzi, and George Russell, Kubica, and Sergio Perez completes our grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, so here we are then on the grid for the Mexican Grand Prix. Starting from the back of the grid, as you guys saw, there is a bit, a bit of a disclaimer. I did practice and qualifying and 110% AI around here, I'm afraid, is going to be literally impossible. On 110, I was 1.5 off the Williams cars, let alone my own teammates. So I had to make some adjustments and we are going to use 106% AI. I'll just confirm that for you guys now in the settings. So you can see at the top of the screen, we are running 106 instead because 110 was just absolutely ridiculous but yeah overall we start 20th the strategy is quite interesting i have made a custom strategy we're going to go with medium soft 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 a three-stop strategy here today very aggressive I'll, i might change it on the fly it kind of depends you know you could do a three-stop or you could go for a one and go with the mediums onto the hards and make it all the way so 
two completely different strategies and different options here today. So I'll see how, you know, what way I lean on, to be honest, going forward. But either way, we're going to sell the race in mediums, and that is 100% definite. So yeah, full tank of fuel. You know, we're going to be nice and heavy and give it everything and just be able to run rich, mix as much as we like. But yeah, overall, guys, let's jump into it and let's ever get on in this race here as Sergio Perez in his home race here at Mexico. Let's get racing. Here we go then. Let's get ready for the five red lights as we build up the revs. And it's lights out and away we go. Not a terrible start to say we're on the mediums as we go down towards turn one. We're going to try and keep my ERS on side here, so we're not going to use it. The racing point is very good for straight line speed as we go down towards turn one. Nice and easy here. Looking for the outside. Trying to find some space here, side by side with uh, George Russell, who's on my right hand side. I'm going to go for a little switch back here. Trying to get the power down, just struggling to get the traction on the mediums. We're going to just sit in the sit stream here. We might have a chance on the braking to get past. Around the outside again, going quite late on the brakes. Side by side here with the Williams, inside for the next corner. Can we get through? Yes, we do. We get the move done. Up to 19th place. Robert Kubica here, up next. Good start so far. Kubica side by side with the Soroso steals. We're going to the S's. We're going to get very close. The, the actual steering wheel in the hands are making it very hard for me to see through certain corners. I can't lie, that's kind of catching me out a bit. As these guys are still going side by side here. Let's try and tuck into the slipstream. George Russell looking for a move behind. As it uh, looks like Kvyat's going to try and go around the outside of Kubica here, but no way through just yet. It's a long race, 71 laps for this Mexican Grand Prix. So no need to rush into any moves, you know, patience will be required. The RS management will also be key, so I'm not in a rush to deplete my entire battery just yet. Rich Mix does the job and we've got lots of it. Looks like we're pretty decent for straight line speed as well. Setup's working well, so uh, we're going to wait as Kvyat goes for a move on Kvyat here once again. Let's try and get involved. Into turn one, locking up the right front slightly. I'm going to try and pick up a bit of a switchback line if I can. Through turn three. Here we go, I'm going to turn the engine up here. These two won't have any slipstream as we tuck in. I'm going to try and go down the inside of Kvyat here. He's going to give me very minimal room. I'm going to try and switch back on the Williams. Inside for the next one, but Kubica covers it off. Good racing so far from the AI. Oh, big bit of oversteer there. Putting them rear tyres on, a bit under too much pressure there. Let's see if we can try and get past Kubica though, and get past the Williams cars at least. Got a lot of understeer through the S's with this racing point. Got to get used to this car, my, my career mode car is uh, much quicker than this and it's a bit of an adaptation process. Okay, entering lap three now. DRS has been enabled. Here we go then. DRS. It's going to be a simple straightforward overtake on Kubica here. As we jump up to 18th place. They're batting their way in front so let's catch them up if we can and uh, make some more progress. We have excess fuel bonus down. Set the fuel mix to mode three. Let's push. Yep. We're going to go to mode 3 now. I don't want to use too much early on. I want to save it as well for him on the soft tyres. His first stint is all about just staying in the race and uh, following the cars in front, you know, the midfield cars, with that little train in front. And then hopefully our soft tyres will pay dividends. Big lock up there on the front right. We just about got it slowed down though and made the apex. We're starting to get close now. I just did a crawl back within DRS. That would make a big difference. We've dropped the Williams cars now, but the fact that the cars in front have DRS is making it quite hard for me to really catch up and uh, get back within range. Strong end to the lap. Personal best. Have I got DRS? I don't think I have. No, I don't. I'm just a whisker out 1.015 across the line. Hopefully, next lap will be the one and we get within range, hopefully. Both Toro Rosso side by side here. This is better news for us. This is what we need. A bit more battling from the AI, that is. We're now fully on the back of these guys, so all we've got to do now is wait for the soft tyres to start to fade, and we'll have a chance to get past. I don't think we've got the edge on performance yet. Is it target plus three? Let's get into mix three ASAP. Yep, don't worry, Jeff. I've got it on the control, mate. It's all about just hanging in there for now and waiting for the right time to really switch these medium tyres on, because you notice the difference with these tyres in a 100% race. They're, you know, they don't wear out as quick, so you've got that advantage much longer in the race. I'm going to try and have a go here. With BRS turn up. Here we go then. 
Can, can we get both Torosos? Possibly. I don't think we will, but we are going to get one of them, I think, as we gain on Kefiat here. Down the inside. A little bit hot on the brakes, but we're just about to get it slowed down. He's going to hang it around the outside there, but we're just going to close the door on him and stop him from trying to go all the way around the outside us. DRS again. Let's use that to stay in front. I wish I could use my mirrors more, but unfortunately the cars nowadays, where the mirrors are placed, you know, they're just so wide. It's so hard, and I don't have enough buttons on my wheel to assign to look at the mirrors, so a bit of a pain, really. I don't think I've got DRS on Gasly here. Or have we? It shouldn't be close. No, we don't. Again, 1.014, just a fraction away. Either way, though, we've got the midfield cars in front of us here. There's quite a few more to turn one, and they're all battling away. So we've got an opportunity here to uh, gain a few places, I think, and strategy could come into this. If I could cut out one stop and make my stint one stop lighter and still commit to the same tyres, that would be great, but that entirely depends on rear tyre, which is a key factor around the circuit at the moment. 11% on the rears, that's absolutely fine. So it looks like we could potentially shorten the stint and uh, do one less pit stop entirely and convert it to a two-stopper. Okay, we made it. Finally, we have the RS on these guys, but the train is huge. You can see how many cars are in it. So there's going to be no benefit to the RS except for just saving a bit of fuel in the RS. But that's fine though. Again, it, it'll prolong our stint, make it a lot easier. And you never know if we make some moves depending if our straight line speed is competitive or not. It does seem like we have good straight line speed, so that's good to see. So pick up a huge lock up there into turn one. You can definitely take a lot of curb here through one, two, and three. Just gonna use this to try and save the RS in fuel at the moment because uh, why not? Very close to Gazi here. I want to see if I can put a move on him. So we're gonna turn the engine up this time. We're very close. Look at this. We've got the straight line speed. We are gonna power pass the Toro I make the move. Gazi presumably running a lower engine mode. So there we go. We breeze past and we've got more battles in front. Let's see if we can pick something else up here. This train is really bunching up and starting to lose a lot of time, so we need to start making some progress here. That alpha is a bit slow off of the corner. We're going to get a bit of side draft. We're going to get boxed in though, but can I go all the way around the outside? Yes, I can. That alpha's got damage and we go around the outside of Kimmy. And there we go. Three overtakes in about three corners. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. I'll see. I might consider it. At the minute though, we're doing good. P14, starting to make a bit of progress and taking advantage of the cars that may be struggling. And I've got loads of fuel in the RS. I'm not using any of it because of the traffic, which is good as well. It gives us a good chance later trying to really attack. Let's see if we can get past a few more of these guys. Seems like Stroll is leading the train at the moment. So if we can get up to Stroll, that'd be good. They're battling away here. Hulkenberg's been overtaken by the Haas. And we're now right on the back of Hulkenberg, who does go defensive. Can I get a switch back of sorts on the Renault here? I do get a switch back, but not enough momentum. So we'll have to settle him behind for now. Kimmy's got back up to speed behind us now, so he's uh, going to potentially challenge us depending on the alpha the speed on the straight. So much dirty air in traffic through the S's, you can really notice it compared to clean air. We're looking good here. I want to see if I can pick up a few more places this lap. Seems like Stroll is struggling a little bit. And one of the Haas cars is making a breakaway out front. This is at the front of this train, you can see. Being joined by McLaren, it seems. Let's pick up some oversteer there. Just struggling a little bit in this final sector with the tyres. Turn the engine up. Let's see if we can give it some on the straight and get past. We're gaining on Hulkenberg, yep. Yeah. We've got the momentum. This racing point is very quick. When we turn the engine up, it's got the momentum. And it can get past any car, I think, which is good to see. We ease past Nico. Up to 13th now, so we're getting close to the points already. Looking good. Having to really work for it though. Personal best, 21.1. Good pace here. We've pulled away from Holkenberg. He's still got DRS on me, but we've opened up a bit of a gap to the Renault. As we're starting to put the pressure on the cars in front now. Next up, Roman Grosjean. As uh, Stroll is battling with the McLaren there. At the moment, this is the battle for the best of the rest. There is one car that's pulled away. And it's not the Haas, it's one in front of that. It's actually the McLaren, who's running right behind a Red Bull. You'll see on the minimap now as we uh, come in, like, we kind of cross over. But there's the McLaren, it's so far ahead. So that's the target in this race. I want to try and be best of the rest with Sergio. But we have to get up to that McLaren. 
and it's really far away, so we've got a lot of work to do. Really close to Borjan here, he tried to go for a move on Hulkenberg, and it didn't work. And now he's put himself in trouble. Actually, he pits in, so there we go. Can we get, uh, sorry, not Hulkenberg, can we get Ricardo here? That's the Red Bull living in the pit exit. That's how much time the Red Bulls gained. We are going to gain them Ricardo though, we're going to try and blast past the Renault. We're going to go to the outside, and there we go, job done, up to P10. And into the points we go, Lando Norris up next, who's battling Lance Stroll. Let's get amongst it. Important now to really start using these medium tyres because the softs seem to be fading. So it's my part of the race now, my time to really start to work and gain some positions. First and the best, that's Alexander Albon in his new Red Bull car. Pits, so we're now up to ninth place. Nobody else comes in, so just the Red Bull, so they might be struggling with tyre wear possibly. Worth noting in this race. Track extension there. A straight line, that little bit of a kink too much as Magnussen pits. As does one of the Ferraris who's leaving the pit exit now, so... That Ferrari's already got a pit stop advantage on us. But you might come under pressure possibly from Norris and Stroll. Speaking of which, they're going side by side now, so we've got a chance to catch up here. They're still side by side. And they lose a heap of time in the S's. I'm looking at around the outside of Norris there, but... No way through just yet. But we are putting the pressure on now. We're actually losing a bit of time to Raikkonen, who's got Verstappen behind him. Norris goes defensive into the baseball stadium. I'm just going to wait for DRS here. I can make this a double overtake. A very efficient double overtake. Just got to get the good exit. That's Norris pits. There we go. Even easier for me. Raikkonen pits as well, so Verstappen will be behind us now. As we jump up to P7, about to be P6 as we gain here on Lance Stroll. He's got a good straight on speed though, so we might have to wait until the next straight to get past my teammate. Let's just stay nice and close. Through one, two, and three. We'll try and put a move on him. The car isn't quite there yet when it comes to grip. Not ideal. Can we get a move on Stroll here? We're gaining. Not enough. Stroll does lock up a little bit and invites pressure, but not quite enough. So that's in Vettel setting the pace, 18.6 as Stroll pits, and that's going to release me to clean air with DRS. Lance is in for his stop. But we have Verstappen behind. He has DRS, but so do I, and I've got the benefit of Ridge Mix, so we should be okay on this lap. Okay, here comes Verstappen. Right on my gearbox, I'm not going to fight it, he's really close, he's got a lot more pace than me, so we'll let him go. Well, he's struggling to get alongside, but there you go, now he's going to start pulling ahead. And then we'll just slot him behind. We won't have DRS, we might be vulnerable to Alex Albon on the next straight here, so we've got to be careful. Just got to have a good exit and make sure we use Verstappen's slipstream. And that will keep us ahead of the second Red Bull for now. And here comes Albon now. He's going to look for the move as well. As we've got the McLaren in the pit lane, that's my rival, that's what I'm looking at. Here comes Alex. He's going to go for the move, fairly straightforward. I'm going to turn the engine down to make it a bit easier for him. He takes the inside line. No issues there whatsoever. I'm just going to slot it behind, try and use the slipstream again to try and make up for lost time on the straights. So far though, so good. P7, best of the rest. I've got a couple laps to myself now where I can do my own thing. Good pace there, matching my personal best. 24 laps in, that's the kind of pace we need. Sainz is starting to get behind, but he's on soft tyres, so he could be going quite aggressive. I've, I've run the numbers a bit. My rear's on 31%, which is interesting. I reckon I could probably cut out one stop and commit to the original strategy, so I could still do a medium soft soft. I reckon I can do that. If I can do 18 to 20 laps on softs, then I could definitely do that. I've just got to try and prolong this stint as long as I possibly can. The longer we go on this stint, the easier the rest of the race will be. So it's all about staying focused here and making this stint worth it. In this lap, in this lap, push now. I don't think we are. The Stappen pits though, so already Red Bull 2 stopping. Very early pit stops. So Albon should be in this lap as well, probably. We're going to stay out here. The pace is consistent. Again, I match my personal best on that lap. No reason for me to pit. I'm happy with my pace. We're holding P7 or P6 in this case. Science is not really catching me that much, so I'm going to stay out and stick with it. 
I've got a plan. I want to make it work. Album pits, as I expected. Science is getting closer now. But he's still just outside of the RS range, which is perfect. Running the numbers. If I can get to lap 35, maybe 40, then I can definitely cut out a stop and run softs to the end on two stints. So that's the target. I need to run some more numbers to get it in more detail and more precise. So I'll get back to that one, but it's looking pretty good at the minute. Okay, then signs on my gearbox. He's probably going to get past here quite comfortably. Even though I'm in rich mix, he's got more pace. That soft tire's working well. So there you go, signs gets past. No real fight, unfortunately. We're just going to follow him for now. And I'll use this slipstream stream again to try and kick the pace up somewhat. 40% on my rears. As signs starts to pull away. The good thing about cutting out a stop is we've reduced the gap to signs, and the gap we have now should be a net gap. So now it comes down to tyres for the rest of the race. And I know I'm running soft, so I know I've got somewhat of an advantage, especially if signs runs mediums at least once. So with that in mind, I've just got to try and keep the pace up here and not let signs get away too much, and we'll be looking okay. Not much longer left in these tyres now. We've just got to hold on for a little bit longer. Better lap there from me. Personal best, 120.7. I've run the numbers now. I've got them. I'm going to do two stints of 18 laps on the softs, or maybe 19 and 17. But basically, we need to pit in lap 35. That's the lap we want. So we've got a target. Basically, we've got four laps of pushing now and using up whatever's left of these tyres. So let's get a head down and let's give it everything. Two personal best in a row. Let's keep this pace up. This is good. This is what we need. I'm also burning a little bit of rich mix as well. I've got lots of it and now's the time to use it to really stay on top of the pace. Oh, that's the heavy lockup. First big mistake. Verstappen was flying anyway. He's put himself right on the back of me here. With this strategy, we've actually put the cat amongst the pigeons here. And I think we could challenge the Red Bulls. Maybe not Verstappen, but definitely we can get Albon, who's further back. I think this strategy might just bring us into contention. Here comes Max. I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to let him go past. Hence why I'm running none. I'm letting him have the racing line so he can go past. There we go. Also, signs as well. He's still not too far away. We can definitely catch that back up, especially if he runs mediums in the next in. We're only two laps away from our pit stop, so we're almost there. Almost there. Just got to keep pushing. Trying to lose any more time and try and pick up the pace. All right, we're going to pit in this lap. We're on for an insane lap as it is anyway. You're on for a personal best. But we are going to pit in. Overall, a very good first stint here. Could I drag it out one or two more laps? Maybe I could and it probably wouldn't help me out but I just want to get on the soft tyre to be honest at this point and just be on faster rubber. Here we go then. Into the pit lane. Get it slowed down. And there we go. That's a good entry. We'll take that. Right now we need a good start from the boys as Magnussen pits in behind us. So we've overcut him which is fantastic. There goes Albon on the pit straight. Come on boys. Go, go, go. You'll be racing on the exit. Release, release. 2.6, not the quickest that we'll ever see, but good enough. Now on the soft tyres, we've got to get up to speed and push hard. Clean air, hopefully. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. We've got Grosjean behind us there, but he's not going to catch us. So we've got clean air. Hopefully he's outside of a second, which would also help us out. And no rule. That is a strategy well done. One more stop to do. Again, for soft tyres, but at least we're on the quicker rubber now, so we can push flat hat in the race. We've got lots of fuel to burn as well. So let's get grinding and let's push on here. Let's try and score some points. Clarin in the pit lane. Lando Norris. Along with Kimi Raikkonen. So there we go. Back up the P12 already. They're all on soft tyres as well. And we've got Kvyat here battling with Giovinazzi for the point. The final point. Oh, there's contact. Kvyat's round. Yellow flag. Contact between the pair of them right in front of me. So we're up to P11 because of that. Let's get after Giovinazzi. He's vulnerable. Some information on Norris. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Okay, there you go. So a little bit of double good news in one lap there as uh, two cars get hit with trouble. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of that in the rest of the race. All right, let's get past Giovinazzi here because Magson behind is trying to close me down. He pit in with me, so he's in the exact same fresh rubber. And being stuck behind the uh, Giovinazzi is costing me time. So hopefully we can get past. I think he's going to pit in. He's going very slow. Yes, he does. Lance is in the pits. 
We're going to turn the engine up as we set a personal best just to pull away from Magnussen again here. And up to ninth place we go. Let's extend the gap over Magnussen. Let's give it everything on the pitch straight here. Use the DRS. Another personal best, 118.2. That's 1.5 up. That's a very strong lap. Hulkenberg in my sights. Let's try and hunt him down and get that eighth place away from him. This looks good though. I'm liking this strategy. He's on point. Slowly pulling away from Magnussen. Gap up to 2.7 now. We're now tucked in behind Hulkenberg. Let's try and get past the Renault. Who is not going to pit yet. That's good. We ain't going to turn the engine up really. We can get away with just rich mix, I think. And they uh, get past it. DRS. Let's make it an easy one. Hulkenberg isn't even going to defend because he knows it's a foregone conclusion. As we power past the Renault, dropped on. And up into 8th place now. Really good race so far, good progress. Good lap there, matching my personal best. Opening up a nice healthy gap to Magnussen and also Hulkenberg in the process, who uh, Magnussen is going to have to get past. We know how those two get along in real life, so this is good so far. Very good still on these soft tyres. Let's hope they hold on and don't fall away too much. There's Verstappen leaving the pit exit. So he rejoins in front of us. That does mean Albon will probably be behind me. So we're still ahead of one Red Bull technically. But Verstappen has to run the mediums. And so does Albon in the final stint. So again, that's still quite interesting. That could be quite a tasty final part of the race. As uh, Hulkenberg and Magnussen exchange positions further back. I've run the numbers. We're going to pit in a lap 53. That's our next stop. So in 11 laps time. Maybe 52 depending on tyre wear. Because we've still got quite a bit of fuel in the car. And uh, we'll have to prolong the last stint by one more lap. But that's fine. And there's Albon in the pit lane. As we're going to take P7. And we're quite away in front of him. He's only just pulled out of his own pit box. So we are going to have a healthy gap to the second Red Bull driver here. So there's a very strong chance we can finish ahead of Alexander Albon here today. And there's Carlos Sainz. He's going for the medium. So he may not be stopping anymore in this race. So Sainz going for a very long final stint like I did in the first stint. It seems. Unless he might go back on the soft again later on. Who knows? Luckily, he rejoins behind Magnussen and probably Hulkenberg, so he's got a little bit of traffic to uh, get past. But Sainz is looking pretty damn good in this race. And Sebastian Vettel's out. Ooh, okay, that's a big one. One of the heavy hitters. Will we get a safety car VSC from that? If we do, we'll have to go onto the, onto the medium tyres, without a doubt. Looks like we're not getting nothing for it, though. But there is a P5 up for grabs now, because of that. There's Sebastian's Ferrari, as we just drive past. Up to P5. Okay, clear. Up to P5 in this race now. Let's keep going. Pace is good. Verstappen isn't really running away. And if he goes on mediums, I might have a chance of going back at him later on in the race. Oh, well, we've got another yellow flag on the pit straight. What could that be? We'll find out shortly, but there's another yellow flag. Cars are starting to drop like flies now in this 100% race. George Russell in the Williams. That's a shame. One of the cars that aren't going to affect that position, but still... It's good to know. Yellow flag. Someone's come up ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. There is the Williams. Second track extension of the race there. Pushing the limit too far on the exit of three. That's fine though. We keep moving. I don't think it's three warnings in a 100% race. It's more than that, so it's not really a concern. Starting to struggle on this rubber now. Pace is starting to go. It's not awful. We're not really making mistakes. It's just the delta time is starting to really fall apart now. And uh, this is the first time I've been over a second off the pace. Just struggling now to hold on. As I start to burn off the remains of my fuel here. Albon now P6. So we have got a healthy gap, and he probably will be on mediums in the next in. So it's looking good. We've got to keep pushing. Tires really feel like they're letting go now. One more lap to go after this. Let's just hold on. We're almost there. Just hold it together, trying to make any mistakes. Right, we're going to pit in this lap. Don't forget, box this lap. Yep, we're going to turn the engine down. Save our last bit of fuel in the RS for the final stint. But a good race so far in terms of battery management. The ERS has been charged up for most of the race. And I've not lost time. I can now use it all in the final stint. And also, if I need to attack and defend, I can use it. Get it all slowed down. There we go. So a good pit entry. Right. Last stop of the race. Let's make it a good one. Albon stays out for a little bit longer. As does Verstappen. The interesting strategy there from the Red Bulls. Because they've got to run the mediums, I think. Complete. Go now. 
not the best stop, 2.9. I've seen a lot quicker, but it will do. We're going to rejoin in P7, I think, in clean air. No, P8 behind Stroll, it seems. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. There's Stroll, and there's a Mercedes right behind, so we're about to get lapped in this race. So one lap less on these tyres. Let's try and get past Lance Stroll here, who's on used rubber. My own teammate. Here we go, no DRS, but we should have enough to get past on the straight alone. Down the inside. Straw giving me a little room, but we do get past, and there we go, job done. Back up to seventh. Signs just up the road on mediums. I think we can hunt him down, I think we can get that. These mediums are pretty second hand at this point as well. He's been on those for a little while. Let's get on the hunt. Let's see if we have enough pace to keep the Mercedes behind. That'd be something to, to rave about on fresh softs, so I don't see why we couldn't keep the Mercedes behind. Hamilton's in front of us. So Hamilton's just pit in, and Sainz has actually got out ahead of him. Wow, okay, so Hamilton's having a bit of a poor race. Sainz is behind him, or in front of him, should I say, so those two just up the road. Could we get a Mercedes here? Hamilton is on fresh mediums, but those are mediums, and they were on softs. I've just realised Bottas has pit, so we're not going to get lapped in this race, so there we go. We are going to finish on the lead lap. Right then, let's get head down. Sons has been overtaken by Hamilton. That's IQ. Let's get after him. Oh, look at that. Fast up of the race. 17.7. .7. No purple sectors, though, but still quick enough. That's impressive. Straw pits. Lance is in for his stop. And we're flying up to the back of Sons here. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised about that. That caught me off guard. A few more of those wouldn't be too bad. There we go. Purple sector 2. That's more like it. I'm going to show my pace a little bit. Then the car loose in this final part of the race now, starting to re push it. As the fuel's burnt off, you can really start to feel the improvement of pace. I'm starting to wonder if the Red Bulls are going to box at all, as we set another purple lap, 17.5. By the way, we're really catching signs now. It's going to be a close battle between me and him because I might have the advantage now, but he's going to come back at me later on in the race with the medium tyre, so it could be quite interesting. We are on the back of signs, and the Red Bulls do pit in. Just when I thought they weren't, they do. Looks like it's Albon who's pitting in first. Onto another set of softs. So Albon must have won the meeting at some point in this race. He's going to rejoin behind us. Here we go then. We're getting the run on signs. Can we get past the McLaren? We're gaining in towards turn one. Late on the brakes down the inside of turn one. And there we go. Block off the inside line for two. And that move is done. Now Albon's got to get past the McLaren. Let's try and pull away. Currently in that P5, Hamilton's up the road, obviously we ain't going to have pace to catch him, but if I finish here, that'd be fantastic. And there goes my fastest lap as Verstappen pits in. I'm guessing that there's a 17-4, so he's already done his stop. And a fresh rubber, he takes my lap away, only by a tenth though, not by much. Pace is still good from us. Gap to the signs now, two seconds. As we go into the final ten laps of the race almost. Right, ten laps to go. So I started to struggle with my tyres a little bit on that lap. Gap to Sainz 5.1, Albon's right behind him, so that's kind of the gap we have to play with. Basically, we can afford to lose half a second a lap for the rest of the race. That's kind of where the, the line is. Okay, gap 6.4. Albon has just passed him, so there you go. It's time to buckle up. This is going to get tasty towards the end of the race. I'm going to save my last bit of fuel in case Albon does arrive. He is flying, 16.7, gap down to 5 seconds. He is going to catch me, so I need to save that bit of fuel to defend from Alex Albon. Okay, so in the last two laps, at normal speed, Albon's gained 6 tenths, and on the last lap, he gained 4 tenths. That's more manageable. We, we can get away with that. And that's me running standard engine mode now. I'm not running rich anymore on the straight, so it's, that's more encouraging. That's more positive moving forward. I can manage that a lot better. Four laps to go. Gap 1.9. He is going to catch me, especially once he gets DRS. I've got to try and keep him at bay as long as I can. Okay, then here's Albon. He's on my rear end now. And he's within range for DRS for the first time as I get a bit sideways into the hairpin there. Drifting through the corner. We've got Norris in front of the McLaren. I was hoping to have got his DRS in this lap to help me out. We're too far back. We're going to have to defend here from the Red Bull. I'm going to wait until the last minute before I run overtake. Now is when we're going to burn it. 
Here we go. Albon to the outside. Down towards turn one. Side by side. I'm on the inside and we're just going to hold on and keep the position for now. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Good exit there. Two laps to go. We're holding on. That's fine. That will do for now. Let's see if I can get on the back of Norris's lap and get the RS for the next lap on the pit straight. Am I going to get the RS? It's going to be close. Trying to push to the limit. I think I might have just got it, which is crucial. Out the final corner then, a little bit of oversteer. We're going to get the toe from Norris though. Last lap of the race, do we get the RS? No, we don't. Here comes Albon. I've got to stay in the racing line and follow Norris's slipstream. That's my best bet. Here comes Albon. He's gaining into turn one. Norris is going to make this very awkward. We're going to have to go the long way around. Using Norris there, a way to block Albon in. Oh, oversteer. Albon's still there, but he's actually lost time. That's it. The pressure's off. I think we should be okay. Bottas is going to win it for Mercedes here today. But Albon, with that mistake there with Norris at turn one, we saw the danger and we avoided Lando on the apex and we went around the outside. And that is job done for us. And I think we should be okay to bring this one home in P5. I'm still on two warnings. I'm not sure if a third one will mean a slam dunk penalty, but I've kept it out of the, off, out the, out of the track limits, if you will, and kept it on the black stuff. So uh, we're going to get away with any possible penalties. Here's Albon trying one more time here, getting the run on us. Going for the Hail Mary. He tries to have a look, but there's no way through there. As the confetti flies here at the baseball stadium, we're just going to cruise home. No mistakes now. Keep it nice and tidy. Final few corners, and we're going to beat a Red Bull here at Mexico. Easy on the throttle. At the final corner, bring it over to the right-hand side, and there we go. P5 in the Mexican Grand Prix. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Right, so here we have the final race results and Bottas wins at Mexico ahead of Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen rounds off the podium there in third place for Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton P4 in the second Mercedes there and we had him in our sights for most of the final stint. We come home P5 from last place on the grid. That is a phenomenal drive and overall really, really enjoyed that and that difficulty level was about perfect because we you know we had to fight and I think the strategy call to cut out one pit stop was the right one because it turns out I had a look and I had no more fresh soft tyres left anyway so I couldn't have made the original strategy work so it's a good thing we went longer on the first in and made the short on two stop work because that was ultimately a critical critical strategy decision and you can see the pit stops from other drivers around us Verstappen on a four stop, Albon on a four stop, a lot of three stoppers and ultimately the two stop was the way to go for us it worked out the best and we almost got the first up of the race but uh, Albon on P6 he pushed us to the end but we just fell short and then Sainz P7 Magnus in 8th and then Hulkenberg 9th with Stroll scoring the final point and both racing points in the points here today and that is a lot of words with the same word if that makes sense either way Ricardo 11th Grosjean 12th Kvyat 13th Giovinazzi Raikkonen Gasly, Norris, Kibitza, and uh, then Russell and Vettel retiring from the Grand Prix here today. But guys, that is it for the race here today. 100% race as Perez. And if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more of it, leave a like and let me in the comments down below. And I'll do one for the next couple of races. I want to do like a mini series, like I said before, for the remaining part of the real life season. So the next one would be USA. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 content and also turn notifications so don't miss any videos from me. And also finally check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next one very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.